Hello, all it is I, the Striking Viking, coming to you from Happy Squirrel Acres, and I thought that I would bring you a video which you may have seen before if you've been around with us for a long time, and there are some of you to whom this will be a complete surprise. This is the front end of Grace, our coach, and as I pan downward, you're, you may see something which is definitely unusual and not standard equipment. I had done this before on a coach that I owned many years ago to great effect. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Underneath the bumper, you can see what appears to be a box made of sheet tin. And that box is covered over with some soffit cloth, the kind you see up in the eaves of your house to prevent bugs and leaves from going in. Let's take a closer look under the hood. There is the standard Ford air filter canister. Inside there's a fairly large circular canister of filter and off the top you can see an elbow with what looks like about a three inch diameter uh, to feed the engine. However, if you look down at the bottom of the canister, you'll see it tapers down to the point where the hole in the bottom end was about, I'm going to say, two inches in size. So we have this enormous V10 engine struggling to breathe through a tiny little snorkel at the bottom. How best to remedy that situation? Well, if you look a little further down, you will see what looks like, that's right, a piece of that old collapsible eaves trough for the corner of your house, which is connected directly to the box at the bottom. So what I'm effectively doing is every mile I travel, I'm cramming about eight times as much air into the intake and into the air filter and thence into the intake of the engine. They had a system like this back in the late 60s, which you may recall, and they advertised it widely on certain production sports models, and they called it Ram Air Induction. So what I've done is I've mounted Ram Air Induction on Grace. Now we've yet to prove it entirely out by taking a long trip uh, with fewer stops along the way to measure the gas mileage. But on my old coach, which had a eight cylinder, 7.4 liter Chevy engine, the fuel mileage went from eight up to 15. So we're going to see what the result is. And I'll report back to y'all and let you know exactly what's going on. In any case, it won't be long before we'll be pulling out of here and heading on down the road. And we're very much looking forward to it and looking forward to taking you along with us. So, thanks for stopping by today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that little notification bell if you haven't done so already. Recommend us to your friends, family, and neighbors. And we'll look forward to seeing you next time. By the way, keep tripping. <laughs>